So in the RRC, there are a lot of things that are not really spoken about, and there are a lot of little features that are never really mentioned by any of the developers, or even mentioned by anyone in the community. But in this video, I have found three of the most secretive things that no one really knows about in ERRC. So if you do enjoy, make sure you drop a like on this video, and also make sure you subscribe, as well as checking out everything else from the description, as it helps me out a lot. But let's get straight into this. Okay, so the first point I'm going to mention is to do with the new gas stations that we got. So if I just go to the nearest one, which I think is over here, yeah, the nearest one is just over here. Now, the amount of money that it costs, so if we just go over here, I'll be able to explain it better. So you can see regular is $5.96. Now, the amount of money it costs, it actually depends on how many people are in the server. So you can see it's uh, $5.96 per gallon, um, but depending on how many people are in the server, this changes so I'm gonna switch on to a public server in just a moment and you'll be able to see that this will be increased so in my server right now there's literally only me so it's quite cheap whereas in a um, public server or in a server with a lot of people it will be a lot more expensive so I'm gonna run over to the one in the city because the one in the city is more expensive so we'll be able to show you that one a little bit better so if I just spawn in a random car I guess this car I don't even know why I have this car but I guess I do, so if we just go over to the gas station in the city, we'll be able to see the price difference. Here we go, we're here now. So this one is a little bit similar, I'm not sure if it's actually lower, I completely forgot what the other price was. But you can see, this one will go with the one in the city gas station, so $5.57 per gallon, and there's only one person in my server right now. Now if I leave my private server and go back into a normal public server, then I'll show you what the price is in there, because it's actually a lot different. Okay, so here you go, you can see it's not too much more expensive, but it's $5.84, so I believe it goes up by one cent per person in the server, so obviously if you've got like 30 people in your server, it'll be a little bit more, um, but in my private server there's only one, in this server I think there's like 20 something, which kind of makes sense and that kind of adds up to the price, so that I honestly didn't know about until someone told me about it the other day. But there you have it, that's a really really cool feature that not many people knew about and it's actually quite like unique and I guess, I don't, I'm not sure why the developers didn't mention that, but there you have it, gas prices are more expensive depending on how many people are in your server. We've now got loads of people here for some reason, but let's move on to the second one. So the second one is if you completed the metaverse event, so the ERC little metaverse event where they had a challenge that you could um, go around, <laughs> I'm not sure why this guy stood on my car, but there was like a little challenge where you had to go around and do different things um, and you would have got a badge for it, oh, and you would have got a badge for it as well as a license plate and XP. Now I can't actually remember if I did the challenge, I think I did, but I can't actually remember, but that badge has now been removed from the list of badges, so if we go over to the ERC homepage, over to the badges, you can see there's no badge on here about the metaverse event for ERC, so I'm not sure why the badge was removed, but it was. I know there was some controversial between ER uh, about ERC for the metaverse event and about the fact that you had to pay for it to actually take part in the metaverse event, which kind of added restrictions to your team because there was three different teams and if you were on one of the teams but you had to pay robux to get into one of the games to complete the challenge but you didn't have any robux then you weren't you wouldn't have been able to complete the challenge i'm not sure what's just happened here but um my car is now a bit broken but either way fixed car does that work yeah so the second one as I've already said, was the badge is now hidden. You can't access the badge on the badge page. You do still have the badge if you got it, don't worry. But no one can see you got it unless they physically go to your profile. So I'm not sure why it was removed from the home page or from the badge page on the RLC, but it was. So there you have it. And now the third one and the final one is that the most amount of players ERC has ever reached, like concurrent players playing the game at the same time, is 47,953. That's according to our track. Um, but there was actually some hidden benefits when the game was paid access. So that was when it was paid access. And when it was paid access, you had to pay, obviously, to pay the, play the game. I think it was like... Um, I know for a long, long period of time it was 50 Robux, and I know for some other period of times it was like 200 Robux, I paid about 200 to play it um, when I first started playing many, many years ago. 
Um, but when it was paid access, the game passes were actually cheaper. So if you bought the paid access game uh, and you bought game passes while it was in paid access and while you still had to pay to play the game, you would have got the game passes for a lot cheaper because all of the game passes were increased in price by 20% when the game became free so if you were a paid access supporter but you bought the game passes after the game went free then you spent more money on the game passes because you could have got them for 20 percent cheaper if you bought them while the game was still in paid access so that i had no idea about either until just a few days ago but there you have it so that's really really interesting obviously that's because they won't be getting as much robux because the game is free so like less people well, you know, less people will be like looking at the game. That was obviously because the game was cheaper, so less people will be uh, spending money on the game because you actually have to pay for it to play it. So they need to make more money from Game Passes and obviously premium payouts and other ways. Robux games make Robux. Um, but yeah, they obviously had to increase the prices to continue getting as much Robux because more people were playing it, yes, but no one was paying Robux to actually play it and get the um you know pay paid access because it wasn't in paid access anymore so that was really really interesting i really hope you enjoyed or found these somewhat interesting um like subscribe if you did enjoy make sure you also check out everything else in the description as well but that is going to be all so thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye